Hi, my name is Richard Deacon from R2I. I'm the Senior Marketo Strategist. And today's topic, we're going to talk about dynamic email content. Uh, so the idea with this is to personalize your email so that we can uh, segment them based on region, or we can do some uh, interesting things based on the lead data database. Uh, this way we can offer that customized content and that customized feel. So instead of me talking the whole time, today I'm going to end up doing some screen sharing. I think that uh, visually it's easier to see this rather than me talk about it. So let's switch to that now. Um, so you can see I have uh, Design Studio up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a snippet first. Um, I already have the information kind of pre-stored off to the side here. And all we're doing is a simple footer. Nothing crazy, but we want to give the option to segment it um, based on, um, I have a segmentation based on North America and EMEA. Um, so what we'll do is let's go ahead and create a new snippet. And we'll name this one um, footer. Dynamic, you can make this anything you want, uh, as long as it's something that you can recognize. And we'll go ahead and create that. Like I said, I have this content off to the side here, so I'm just gonna grab it. Um, and what we're gonna do first is do the segmentation. So we already have preset segmentations uh, by location. So you can see we have uh, North America and EMEA. And also a default, you're always going to have a default based on uh, whoever doesn't qualify. It's important to know that with snippets, you have to have a segmentation. If you don't have a segmentation, this is not going to work. Uh, if you don't have the segmentation, that'll lead into the next part of it, where we talk about using uh, velocity scripting to kind of handle dynamic content. Uh, for this part, let's just handle the snippet. So what we're going to do is you can see it automatically pulls in uh, your segments here on the right hand side. Uh, and let's do your default first, and we'll just jump into HTML. We're just going to paste it in. And you can see it's just a standard, uh, no-nonsense um, footer. Nothing crazy, nothing exciting, but it'll get the point across. Uh, next, we'll jump up to EMEA, and we'll go in here. HTML, we're going to alter that. And all we did here is you can notice that we, instead of uh, the standard um, one, two, three, any street, we actually put it in a street in London. So we want to focus those people towards that. Uh, and then once again, we'll do the North American. And paste that in. And then you can actually toggle between those so you can see the changes. And all we're going to do with this is uh, close it. Boop. We'll go ahead and approve it. And this way we can grab it in our email. So now we're going to jump into our marketing activities. I already have a program set up that's pretty basic. Um, I did set up some lists um, for the dynamic content for the tokens. Uh, and those lists are pretty much just your uh, EMEA list um, and a Florida State list, just so I can show kind of how this works. Um, so for the snippet itself, let's go in and edit the actual email. And what we're going to do is go to our modules and we're going to drop in a snippet here at the bottom. Uh, you can see we actually already have one. Um, this is the previous default one footer. We can get rid of that. And we'll go into our snippet here. Uh, and what we want to do is edit this. So, and it gives you a drop down option. You can see we have this footer dynamic one we just created. And we're going to swap that out. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So what that'll do is once it automatically uh, toggles uh, based on that dynamic content, you can see it'll switch to EMEA or North America automatically or default. And all we have to do is improve and close. And that's basically it. And you can do that with multiple sections. You can do that with content or images, uh, pretty much anything you have a segment that'll work. Um, you just go ahead and create that. Um, the other option we'll show you today is using a token. Um, so for this, um, if you're not familiar with tokens, I recommend um, just kind of browsing over those in Marketo. And I'll put links after this video in the bottom so you can go in and look at uh, uh, tokens and how they're uh, differentiated. And the other option I'll give you also is the snippet and also the velocity scripting uh, information. So Marketo, so you can dive into this a little deeper. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to do an email script. So we're going to drop that in and we're just going to make this, um, let's make this dynamic greeting. 
And what we're going to do is do some simple code. Uh, so velocity scripting allows you to uh, use a whole bunch of different options that you can't do with segments. Um, you know, you, if you have a custom object, so if you have anything in the lead uh, database, uh, you can definitely grab that. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up, um, we'll do a fault greeting, if I can type, by state. And what we're going to do is set up basically an if clause here. Um, and all this uh, scripting um, you can find in the reference I'm going to give you uh, after the end. Um, oops, sorry about that. That'll kind of break down all the velocity scripting. But it's basically uh, pretty straightforward once you learn it. Um, there's our, there are little tips and tricks that you have to watch. Um, basically, if you're assigning um, a lead value that it's blank, sometimes it's a little, a little weird. Um, but otherwise, for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go grab um, state here. And you can scroll down. I probably should have picked one that wasn't so far down the list. Uh, you can see yeah, we have a little, this is a, a sandbox instance, so we have a little bit of <laughs> field consolidation we need to do, but no worries there. So you're going to drag this in, and you can see it, the token, uh, the lead database token's there. So basically what we want to do is check if the lead state equals Florida. And if the lead state equals Florida, what we're going to do is we're going to set uh, a variable here. Greeting equals welcome Floridians. Okay. Uh, but we also want to set something in case they're not from Florida. We definitely don't want to you know, assume everyone's from a specific state or whatever uh, your greeting is. So for that, we're just going to say welcome. Uh, and then what we'll do here is we're going to spit out that uh, greeting. Actually, let's do greeting variable, and that'll actually write out what we have set in this script. It's very important to note that if you don't have the state value checked here, uh, when the script runs, it won't pull in the value. So. If, if, if you're finding that you're testing this and it's not working, just double check to make sure you have it. Um, usually if you drag and drop it in, it'll automatically check it. Um, sometimes if you're kind of coding and by default, you don't pay attention, you just want to make sure you do that. So we're going to go ahead and save that, save that there. And then what we're going to do is edit the email once again. And what we're going to do is replace the headline that we have in the, the really super, uh, generic email we have here. Uh, we're going to take that out and we're going to put in the token. So what this will allow it to do is based on uh, the information that's in the database, it'll toggle between the two. So we're going to go ahead and approve and close that and then we'll preview it. And then I'll show you how you can test this. And that's why I created those lists previously. Um, so we have a list that's kind of state and uh, EMEA specific, just, can, just to kind of show you how it toggles back and forth. So let's go ahead and preview the email. And you can see at the top here, the, the view by default basically is going to give you whatever information's uh, straight for that email. It's not specific to any one person. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to drop it down to a list. And you can see also it gives you a segmentation option here. Uh, we're going to drop it down to a list. And I have that Florida list that I mentioned and then we'll repopulate it. And what it's gonna do is pull members from that uh, list who have a Florida address, uh, or a Florida state, I should say. And you can see automatically the token gets populated with the Florida information uh, because they're from that state. If we pick someone who is in EMEA who wouldn't have a Florida state um, designation, We'll let this load. You'll see it defaults to welcome. So that's a pretty straightforward uh, way of handling it. And just to show you the segmentation here as well, if we want to pick a North American one, just to show you how that toggles uh, location here. And we'll do uh, EMEA so you can see that footer toggle is here. Uh, you will notice that um, because it's only doing the segmentation, it's not pulling in the lead information. Uh, this will work when it goes out. Once the email sends, it will pull uh, the segmentation and the lead record information. So that's how we're handling um, 
dynamic content. If you have any questions or have maybe further information you want me to share with you, uh, just reach out to me on this channel or at RTY. Uh, once again, it's Rich Deacon from RTY uh, and happy marketing automation.